Hi everyone, my name's Demis. And I'm Ben. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can create your own podcast. Audio entertainment is growing rapidly through podcasting, with so many programs to listen to covering every topic imaginable. We actually host our own podcast called The 5 Sound Podcast, where we talk about being a freelancer and how we're able to leave our 9 to 5 jobs to pursue our 5 to 9 passions. So in this video, we thought we would share our tips for how to start a podcast. So let's get into it. How to start recording your own podcast. So to start a podcast, you need three things, a microphone, something to talk about, and an RSS feed. Microphones are the most important tools for podcasting since it's all about the voice and the audio. A USB mic will do the job for beginners, but there are lots of higher end mics and tools like preamps, mixers and wires. If you're just starting out, you can get a cheap USB mic for around $100 or less, or even use your phone. These are the mics we have. It's the Blue Yeti Nano and the Rode NT USB Mini. Plug the mic into your laptop or computer and adjust the gain so it's not too loud. Record the audio straight into software like Adobe Audition. When talking, it's important to maintain a consistent distance from the microphone so your voice doesn't get too loud or too soft at different times. It's also important to not have any distracting noises in the background or knocking on the table. We learnt this the hard way when we recorded our first few episodes. We kept knocking the table accidentally and it was very distracting for the listeners. We recommend to also use a pop filter as well to help with the P sounds from our voices. Tips for podcast post-production. When it comes to audio editing, we use Adobe Audition to cut up the audio and add music and sound effects to make our podcast have a high production value and quality. Mitigating background noise is a major challenge and can be distracting for listeners. Most audio editing softwares will have tools or plugins to help reduce background noise. As a tip, record a few seconds of silence so the software can use it as a reference point. Make sure your voice isn't peaking. We recommend aiming for around minus three decibels maximum. You can adjust the gain in post if your voice is too soft but it's really hard to fix if your voice is peaking or too loud from the beginning. Finally, depending on the style you want for your podcast, cutting the audio so that it's not boring for listeners is very important. You may want to cut out your ums and ahs if you pause for too long, for example. If you're going to add music or sound effects, be wary of copyrighted music. Look for royalty-free or licensed stock music on audio services like Adobe Stock. Understanding the basics of podcast formats. So now we understand what tools we need, let's talk about podcast topics and formats. The best way to understanding podcast formats is to listen to a few before you start your own. Find out what style you want for your own podcast. Will you be the only one talking? Will you have different guests on each episode? Will it be a new topic per episode? Or are you going to split up one big topic into many parts? Having a plan and direction for your podcast will definitely help you stay on track and maintain the longevity of your podcast. What topic are you going to talk about? Good podcasts connect because they focus on a topic and the hosts are able to deliver a voice and perspective that is unique. As a host, you need to moderate and keep the conversation going in an interesting or specific direction. Have a plan or dot points for the topics you're going to cover. Do your research and pre-production before each episode. We recommend making a few dummy or practice episodes before you launch your podcast to test out the voice and audio quality you're after. Having interesting cover art and show notes are also important because that's what people who've never heard of your podcast will be looking at first. Anyone can start a podcast quite easily, but it's hard to stand out from all the other offerings on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Pick a topic that interests you and one that doesn't have much coverage yet. What's most important is your voice, your story, and your content. Publishing your podcast for the world. Now that we know what tools to use to record your podcast, and we also have the topic we're going to be covering, next, let's get your podcast out to the world so everyone can listen to it. To do this, you need an RSS feed. So what is an RSS feed? RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication, and it's basically a type of web feed that allows applications like podcatchers to easily access updates on your website. For podcasts, you want to create a free RSS podcasting account and follow the steps so that you can link your RSS feed to apps like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. We use SoundCloud for our RSS feed, but there are many other platforms out there. This way, your podcast can appear on many different platforms at once and your listeners can stay up to date with your episodes whenever you release a new one. One thing to know is that you need to submit your podcast beforehand to these platforms to get approved. There are requirements that you need to fulfill in order to not get rejected. This takes time, so make sure you give yourself some buffer before you launch. So that's it. We hope you enjoyed this video about how to make your own podcast and these tips can help you start and get your voice heard. If you want to see more of our work, 
Come find us on Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. See you in the next video. Bye.